I'm Michael Dye of IBM Watson and Cloud Platforms. We're demoing here with Ubuntu uh, a decentralized autonomous edge compute system called Horizon. The system is demonstrated uh, in an isolated environment here in this box. It contains multiple devices. The two devices on the left side of the box establish a peer-to-peer -peer network and uh, exchange services for edge devices, two of which are on the side here of this box and one is at the bottom. The edge devices come into agreements with each other autonomously and those agreements yield uh, the execution of workloads on those edge devices. The execution of the workloads is aimed at uh, gathering sensor data that are attached to the edge devices and doing analysis of the data at the edge. <clears throat> what we've done in this demo specifically what we've done in this demo specifically is uh, uh, configured the top device to negotiate and hold agreements with the other two devices. The bottom device here is named Honeyman and its dashboard is shown. The dashboard shows that there are two separate workloads that have two separate purposes. The top workload is a sound uh, sampling and processing system and it's uh, running on this remote device because of the agreement that it made with the top device named Kato. The result of the running workload is <clears throat> sampling of audio data by a microphone that we've put in a quiet and somewhat muffled environment for privacy reasons during the demo. The sound is sampled and then Fourier transforms are run on that sampled sound. Then those uh, transforms are pushed through a neural network using the TensorFlow framework and the sound is uh, determined to uh, classified um, into one of these four categories as music, speech, rain, or rock music by the neural network. The reason for um, this uh, sort of uh, system is to create <clears throat> either private systems that are managed and have high availability because the devices are responsible for coming into agreements with each other. The aim is to keep the data at the edge so that we don't have to ship it back to the cloud for privacy or for resource constraint reasons. You can learn more about the platform by visiting our website, bluehorizon.network. There's a public version running there that's a global platform that uh, allows um, access to citizen scientists' pollution sample gathering uh, applications. And uh, it can be participated in uh, with a simple Raspberry Pi um, or you can just learn about more from the site.